Hello everybody. Welcome back to Sabir CAD. I'm Mohammad Sabir, your trainer in CAD. In this video, I would like to give you a comparison between conventional drafting and computer drafting. And this video is meant for those who are not aware of this. But we know that a computer drafting is far more superior to conventional drafting. But in most of the colleges, universities and technical institutions, this topic is not taught to the required extent during the academic days. So if you are fully convinced and aware of the potential and the benefit that you can achieve through CAD techniques, I am sure that all of you will be motivated to learn as well as to specialize in this topic. So let's come back to the comparison. We will start with the drawing accessories. In order to perform the conventional drafting, we need drawing equipments such as drawing board, mini drafter, set square, T scale, etc. But to perform computer drafting, uh, we need a computer and a software and of course the knowledge to operate that software. So let's compare the portability aspect. If you want to carry along all the conventional drafting accessories, you know that it is very difficult and you won't be able to perform drafting wherever you want. Whereas in computer drafting, you can take the computer along with you wherever you go and you know that the size of the computer has come down uh, from PC to laptop to tablet or a smartphone. Now you can perform drafting even in a smartphone or in a tablet. So when you compare the portability aspect, you know that the computer and software is highly portable than conventional drafting accessories. Now let's consider the output that you get. In conventional drafting, the output which you get is in the paper form. And in computer drafting, the output which you get will be an electronic file. Now let's consider three aspects. Ease of storage, retrieval and transfer. If you want to store a paper drawing, then you need space, physical space. Okay, suppose if you want to store uh, several paper drawings, then you need a uh, huge space. And if you want to retrieve those paper drawings after several years, you may not be able to successfully get those paper drawings back because uh, due to time, those paper drawings must have undergone tremendous amount of damage, even if you keep those drawings under ideal conditions. Whereas you can store an electronic file in magnetic storage media such as hard disk in a pen drive where you can store this media in cloud services such as Google Drive or Autodesk 360 or Dropbox etc. And you know that you are always connected to this cloud service. Your portable devices such as smartphones, tablets and computers, even smart TVs are all connected to the cloud service. So whenever you want, you can retrieve those files, those electronic files. So when you compare uh, the storage and retrieval, an electronic file is far more efficient and superior. Now let's consider the ease of transfer. If you want to transfer a paper drawing from one place to another, then we have to depend on parcel services or courier services. Whereas if you want to transfer an electronic file, it can be sent as an attachment to an email and it can be transferred to any part of the world instantly. So if you consider the transfer aspect, it's always convenient to transfer an electronic file than transferring a paper drawing. Now let's consider the speed and accuracy. We know that whenever you try to do something very fast, we tend to lose accuracy. And the same is applicable to conventional drafting. Whenever you try to draw something fast, you can't be accurate because we are all humans. We are not machines. Whereas in computer drafting, you can achieve 100% accuracy. You will get 8 digit decimal precision while you perform drafting and modeling. And you can also achieve speed through various techniques in computer drafting. I'll illustrate it with an example. Suppose you are a civil engineer or an architect and you have created a window using CAD techniques in a software and that particular window can be used any number of times in all your future drawings. You can block it as a symbol in your drawing. Hence you can convert most of the frequently used objects in your drawing as symbols and those symbols can be reused any number of times in all your future drawings. Whereas in conventional drafting, if you want to repeatedly use a particular component, all you have to do is you have to draw it repeatedly or else you have to uh, make use of certain drafting accessories such as stencils, even that can't give you 100% productivity. Moreover, drawing a particular component or an object repeatedly uh, will cause monotony. Most of the people who have performed conventional drafting must have definitely experienced it. Now let's consider the ease of editing. That means the ease with which you can incorporate changes on an existing drawing. 
In conventional drafting, if some editing is to be incorporated, you have two options. You can either just rub off those portions, then you can redraw the drawing, or else you can discard the drawing, then you can start a new drawing right from the scratch. Whereas in computer drafting, you can easily incorporate interactive editing. I would like to illustrate with the same example of the window we were talking about. The window which you have created, as I told you before, we have saved it as a symbol in your drawing so that you will be able to reuse it any number of times in your future drawings. And that particular window is also called a parent object. And that window resides inside your drawing and from that window you can generate as many copies as you want and you can locate it at several places in your drawing. And this parent object and the copies which you have generated are linked because of which any last minute changes can be instantly incorporated on all the child objects or the copies by incorporating it on the parent. So editing won't be a problem for you. Now let's come back to the output which you get. In conventional drafting, if you want to create several copies of the same output and if you want to enlarge it, we don't have much flexibility. The only option is to go for Xerox copies or blueprints. Then if you want to enlarge it, you have to go for an enlarged Xerox. You know that an enlarged Xerox won't be that clear and that is a bit expensive. Whereas in computer drafting, the electronic file you can print in any desired sizes and dimensions. And you can have as many copies as you want. And it is not that expensive too. And you can provide various pen width to each and every objects. You can have 256 pen width as well as 16.7 million colors that can be incorporated on the various objects in your computer file. It is practically difficult to incorporate or provide these properties to objects that you draw in a conventional drawing. If you want to get various pen widths, then you have to buy pens having various width. Even in that case, we have limitations in terms of numbers. Then in terms of colors, we have limitation. And those micro tip pens are very expensive. Whereas in computer drafting, we don't have such additional expenses or efforts involved. Now let's consider 3D. If you want to create a 3D drawing such as isometric, perspective, etc., you have to spend a lot of time and effort to get the accuracy. And if you want to create a view from a different angle, then you have to start a new drawing all over again right from the scratch. Whereas in computer drafting, with the help of 3D modeling commands, you can easily create a 3D model of any object that you can dream of. And once you have that model, in a click of a button, you can generate instant engineering views such as isometrics, perspectives, obliques, elevations, plans, and diametric views and auxiliary projections, etc. So it's that easy. And once you have that 3D model, you can apply realistic finishes to that model to go for photorealistic rendering. And you can conduct convincing and professional presentations. Whereas in conventional drafting, if you want to render, then again, it's a laborious task. You have to invest on consumables such as pens, inks, papers, and things like that. And all these expenses are not there in computer drafting. You have to just initially invest for a computer and a software. That's all. Instead of a 3D model, we can create a physical model using materials such as hardboard, forex board, etc. So in the next video, we will compare the physical model with the virtual model and let's see the relative merits and demerits. After watching this video, I am sure that you must have convinced about the power and potential of computer drafting when you compare with conventional drafting. I have provided links along with this video as well as at the description section of this video. Just click on that link and explore the world of computer aided design using AutoCAD software which is the industry standard software to implement CAD. Thank you so much for your time. Until I see you in the next video, bye bye and take care. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it. Thanks once again.